latest class of uh, tips and tricks for IITJ. So in the last class I had given you a problem with this thing. No, no, this thing I had already solved I think, yeah. Like this was another cap one capacitor, this is another capacitor and this is another capacitor like 3 epsilon naught. <coughs> a by 2d I had already given this thing I had already taught in the last class and in this class uh, last class I had also given a number of this one mm. uh, asked to find out the total capacity well in this thing you have to observe one thing one especially a very important thing that this is a single plate and this is not connected to any of the electrodes so that is why you may calculate this comes out to be 3 by 2 epsilon naught a by d this comes out to be 1.5 you see there are 1 2 and 3 in that manner but because this is one the single electrode and it is not an electrode means it is not connected to any of the charges so a charge separation develops here and that is where the half of the capacitance comes into effect so moving on <coughs> let's uh, move on to something like I'll be giving you with some expressions like uh, uh, which you already know maybe some of you like if the capacitance goes like this the capacitance goes like this the net capacitance the C effective comes out to be is equal to C if all the capacitance is C capacitors are placed in this manner as per the Wheatstone bridge this thing comes out to be the equivalent capacitance comes out to be C provided all the capacitors here have the capacitance of C then again if I have something like this I had done it a problem like this one earlier this is a plate this is a plate A this is a plate B then the net capacitance of this one will come out to be 2 by 3 epsilon naught A by D this you can exactly find out by doing the different calculations and all and then if the things go like this all the capacitance are C up to infinity then it uh, comes out to be C effective comes out to be 1 plus root 5 by 2 into C <coughs> so overall this thing goes on like this and again another probably another sort of thing it can make come like this thing So the vitally the difference is that uh, here there is a capacitor and here here is a capacitor no capacitor is there in this place so its effective comes out to be root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 C so of all the things everything goes like this and then there is another type of thing like uh, I'm just I'm just showing you the different sort of problems that can actually come means 2 then 4 means all in the powers of 2 it goes on like that <coughs> so it comes out to be C effective is equal to 2C